Chief Rivet, can you tell us the value that you place on the Crime Stoppers organization when it comes to local policing? For us, it helps point us in the right direction a lot of times. Uh, we follow up on every single Crime Stopper tip we get, and quite often, if we don't know who the culprit is for any of the offenses that uh, come in, uh, suddenly we may receive a Crime Stopper tip. It's totally anonymous. You never have to uh, uh, provide your identity, and uh, it helps the police a ton. So if you want to be an anonymous tipster in that fashion, it helps us uh, solve crime, and we use them a lot. Now, the municipality has just given a donation to the organization, and I believe this is a first for Soggy and Shores and other municipalities. Um, are you glad to see that uh, they are stepping up to show their support? Oh, absolutely. They, uh, Crime Stoppers does fundraising like their golf tournament and, uh, and other things to raise funds. Uh, the granting that they get from uh, the ministry is is uh, fairly slight and doesn't cover all of their costs. Uh, the OPP have really uh, picked up the uh, the ball when it comes to staffing and assisting with that, but they've had a lot of retirements in the last t two months, uh, which has put a strain on. So they've gone around to ask for some funds from uh, different municipalities that benefit, and uh, I'm glad to see that our council uh, sees the, the benefit of Community Watcher. Sorry, Crime Stoppers, 